Okay, and then you guys saw the video for the the ball valve. Okay, thanks to some comments, I've learned some very interesting things about these ball valves. Like, let me find the other one. Oh, here it is. I had thought about going with this particular valve for the PEX hose, making up a nice bracket to make it rigid. Okay. Well, first of all, it was brought to my attention uh, to go to eBay and check out some of the marine applications, which I did. And I went and checked them out. I'm not ruling out the marine valves. It's just the fitment where I'm putting this might be a problem because the marine valve they had a nice big marine valve had the same flow as this one had an inlet from this side inlet from that side and an outlet I think coming at you however you want to word it with a flange and a place for two screws it allowed you to switch from one tank to the other now the fitment where I'm putting this which is in the wheel well has a little bit of a problem because of my shocks my friction shocks move up and down right in that area so I need something a little more flexible if you want to word it like that so I could put it how I want to put it and originally I have the fuel line coming up on the outside of my what you would call a frame rail on a unibody car and then right when it gets to the firewall it would actually dip under the frame rail but originally it went under the strut rod bracket went right through it then came on the inside of the frame rail and then went where it had to go what I was thinking of doing was uh, shortening it before it makes the turn underneath the frame rail okay and that's where I was going to put my shuttle valve right there then the tank coming from the front would be the same thing it would be hard lined then I was going to put a shuttle valve then they were going to both come into a wiring go to the fuel pump and do whatever they had to do and I could pick and choose which tank I wanted um, and originally I thought about doing this with the PEX type ball valve okay then it was explained to me what all the writing on these valves mean which I thought was cool because you know I'm into all that technical stuff being you know doing what I do for a living so any technical jargon you can give me especially abbreviated would help me out in this job and any other job I guess I do using one of these valves and after looking at this valve and the writing on it which there isn't much of then this valve which are actual tapered seats okay this one here, I'm trying to read this for the viewfinder, so bear with me. It says 600 WOG 150 WSP. And what I was told is that's uh, 600 pounds of bursting pressure for water, oil, and gas. And that was 150 pounds. Oh, I forgot. Uh, ooh, something to do with steam. I don't know if that was water steam pressure rated at 450 degrees I hope I got that part right because I'm really not concerned about that but I'm pretty sure that's what it was I'm pretty sure exa that's exactly what it was of anything above 450 degrees there is a Teflon seat uh, what you have is you have the ball in the center I thought it was the ball encapsulated in Teflon you know when inserted in there and when it turned it sat in a hole like a ball inside of a ball of Teflon but what it is is if this is the ball valve and there's the opening for it to flow through it's just a Teflon ring that's has a little tension on it right there and then it seals like this and it rides brass on brass but supposedly at 450 degrees is all this thing is rated for if you're going to use it for steam but I'm not using it for steam um, I'm planning on using this for gasoline so, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Nova Fish 63 has been using these for a couple of years. I even forgot, I don't know how I forgot, that all three of his sons are involved with HVAC. And I'm assuming that it has plumbing attached to it. I don't even know why I didn't think of that. I should have known that. Um, but like I said, between the information I got from him, the inf other information I got, which was, if I'm not sh if I'm remembering correctly between yesterday and today, my head is a little fuzzy. It was from Terry. Um, and I forgot the other person. I apologize. 
a lot's happened this morning. <laughs> this is the type of valve I'm going to go with, and the way I'm going to do it is, is the way Billy did it was, is Billy used a valve similar to this. I think his was a little bigger, but the flow in this one is the right size, so that's, if I can get away with the size of this, that'd be fine. They classify this as, I think, a half inch, this one was. Oof, man, I can't see. quarter inch that's what's goofy about plumbing the size I don't really know where they get the size from uh, but if I get away with this size it would be fine what he did was he used this and then he used uh, AN fittings and braided line and all that other stuff what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from this right to a, a, a flare nut seat okay so there'll be a fitting on either end and there'll be a tapered seat Okay, then I plan on taking my fuel line, all right, flaring it, you know, putting the nut over it, flaring it, and then just tighten it down in there. Done, just like a brake line. Just like all my fuel lines in the car actually are. So I'll do that on either side, and then after it comes out, I can continue running it in metal, and then a little bit of rubber at the end. Okay, and the fuel filter is going to be, I'm going to leave the fuel filter that I have for this in the back of the car and then in the one in the front I'll sneak somewhere somewhere I guess that sounded right so I think this is what I'm going to go with I don't really like the size of the handle so there might be some modifications done to that handle maybe a little straightening straighten out this bend a little bit maybe shorten it down to like there I don't know maybe a retool dip it so I don't know I gotta see when I get it in there but by doing that, I should be able to uh, rigidly mount these things, too, because of the lines. So I'll probably come up with something else. I was looking at different designs to mount this thing rigid. I was thinking of, um, like I said, these are just ideas I'm rolling around. When I get into this project, trust me, my brain will be in it 100%. And I'll come up with a lot of ideas and then pick the best. Right now, I'm still into the bodywork. But I looked at one of these roll ball gussets. Putting the roll ball gusset right where it screws in, there and there, and if you see, I'm spaced away, one on each side, and a nice little plate made fancy, and I could screw it in with four screws, I figured that would look trick, but I didn't have one of these, I don't mean I can't buy one, but you know, I'm too cheap for that, uh, like I said, I'll decide as I go along, but to me, as long as I have a rough idea in my mind, then I have no problems going into the next phase when it comes along. So I think that's what we're going to go with. We're not going to use the ones for the pecs. And I didn't get back to that. The one for the pecs has none of that writing on it. It has WLF. I don't know if that means water and I don't know what the LF means for long fingers. So this just has a bursting pressure of uh, six, uh, 400 PSI and it says half inch even though the inside diameter of this one matches the inside diameter of that one so this doesn't say anything about <clears throat> oil and gas and uh, I know oil and gasoline are two different things but some of the properties are similar you know they are petroleum based so I'm hoping because they're rated for one the gasoline won't melt the seed of the other and I know Cigar Captain had mentioned gas added additives eating stuff away a lot of gas additives eat stuff away because it has alcohol in it of some sort. Um, and I don't plan on running any gas additives. The front tank will have my cam 2, the back will just have my, which I used to use, blended cam 2 and high test to make it a little more affordable to drive the car. So, and that's it. That's my update for today. Got the hitch done, got this done. Starting to feel a little better. Swept the front of the garage at least. Place looks like a hole. Uh, place is closed today. I wanted to get the uh, the glazing putty, to, you know, to move on to this next step. So I didn't even bother with the fender. Plus, it'll give me a couple extra days to finish with the mucus machine I got going on in the back of my throat. And uh, well, I guess that's it, guys. Happy New Year, and hopefully next year is better than this last year for all of us. So even if you had a good year, hopefully it's a little better.